I'm Trevor Amicone for Beyond the Box Score, a new show that we're doing here for Weber State News where we take you beyond just the scores that you get on Weber State Sports and elsewhere for Weber State men's basketball. Today we're here to talk about the first loss of the season for the Wildcats as they traveled to Pocatello and got beat by Idaho State 64-62. to The Wildcats really had an off night and part of that could be attributed to the travel schedule which had them flying into Sacramento State, then flying back here to Ogden and busing back up to Idaho State. Never underestimate how much travel has a, makes a difference in a college basketball game. Another thing that Idaho State did that really stifled the Wildcats was they controlled the tempo of the game, and they did this in a myriad of ways. They started first off by making the Wildcats work to get shots off, and as, as they did this, they really made the Wildcats get into a half-court set and really played good, strong, man-to-man -man defense, which forced the Wildcats to take shots late in the shot clock and really kept them well below their season average in points. So you had to know that Idaho State really going into the game wanted to control the pace of the game and they did so late in the second half they lost control of the pace just a little bit and that allowed the Wildcats to get back into the game to the point where they led by one before that buzzer beating three pointer by Kenny McGowan to win the game for Idaho State. Some good news from the Idaho State game is that senior forward Kyle Bullinger really had a good game. He scored 12 points. He was 5 of 7 from the field, which is a good sign. You could see still there was a little bit of hesitancy. He's still trying to get that confidence back, but he's much, much closer than he has been since he came back from his elbow injury.